Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome back to a new Ninjago Season 11 Ice Chapter Discussion video here on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about exactly how the first Spinjitzu Master's wife might have just been revealed in the Ninjago Season 11 story. So of course, I don't think this theory is going to be 100% accurate. A lot of the times, theories like this really aren't super accurate per se, but they do have, I guess, some sort of, I guess, genuine attributes to them, of course. So in this theory, I saw a few of you guys sent me this, not really sure sure who exactly it was, but somebody sent me this, and it was a comparison between this picture of the first Spinjitzu Master's wife from some Ninjago book, of course it's just a silhouette, and they also sent a picture of, I guess, the actual new character from the Season 11 story, whose name I cannot remember, nor do I really know it at this point. Now, of course, I have not yet seen the actual episodes yet, I'm just getting caught up with everything that's happening for the time being, I'll watch the episodes when I can actually see them in decent quality, of course, on TV like I've always done, but this does raise an interesting theory. Is this the first Spinjitzu Master's wife, otherwise known as Wu and Garmadon's mother? Well, the similarities do look to be definitely there. They do have a very similar figure to them. The actual silhouette looks very reminiscent of this character, and I do believe that she's up to something. I, I can tell that she's maybe a little suspicious about a few things that I will be covering in future videos, but I don't really think maybe it's his wife. Well, for instance, how would that make any sense? Why would she be in the Never Realm, and why would the first Spinjitzu Master have left it? Of course, that could also be argued against. Master Wu has stated before that the Never Realm actually did not really let the first Spinjitzu Master escape, or he almost couldn't escape there. What if he didn't mean that the first Spinjitzu Master couldn't leave the Never Realm physically? What if he just didn't want to leave because, of course, his wife was there? That could make a lot of sense, right? It's almost like he couldn't leave, you know, he just physically could not leave his wife back there. Of course, we know that that eventually happened, but something to argue against the theory of this character being Wu and Garmadon's mother, she looks to be the same age as Wu. And as far as I'm concerned, that really doesn't mean anything. Again, it's really not likely that they would be super close in age or anything like that. But then again, we're just basing this based off of just designs and looks. And perhaps Wu is younger than he appears. Maybe he actually looks a little older than what he actually is. That could make sense, right? I mean, I don't think there's a lot to argue against this theory being true. There's just not a lot, in my opinion, that could argue, I guess, for it being true. Except the actual picture that was in the uh, Ninjago book. I can't remember which book it was, but it was in, I believe, if it was the book of Spinjitzu. So that's really the only piece of evidence that I legitimately can see regarding this theory being true. Again, something definitely is sketchy about her, and I'll do another video about her very soon, but again, something just seems a little too perfect. It seems like it would click too perfectly if this actually turned out to be Wu and Garmadon's mother, otherwise known as the first Spinjitzu master's wife. But let me know down below in the comments what you think about all this. Do you think this character could potentially be connected to Wu and Garmadon and the first Spinjitzu master? Let me know down below in the comments. I look forward to reading the discussions that you guys actually come up with. With all that being said though, that'll just about do it for this video here. Thank you so much for watching this one. If you enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up rating, and of course, remember to hit the subscribe button if you've not done so already. Once again guys, the comment section is there for the various discussions that you would like to have regarding this topic, or if you just had a comment of a general nature, that's fine as well. In the description, you'll find the links to my other forms of social media, whether it be my Twitter, my Instagram, my Patreon, or my merch. Be sure to support me on all of those platforms if you would like to. With all that being said, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video once again. My name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.